This is Channels Television. We now go to Abuja for a live event, the second national MS Awards 2019 Next Level. This is a live Channels Television event. To welcome all of you, invited guests, ladies and gentlemen. Your Excellencies, it is with pleasure and pride in nation that I welcome all of you to this amazing night, beautiful evening. If you call it the Nobel Prize for MSME in Nigeria, you'll be right. We also call it the Oscar of Nigerian MSME, you'll also be right. Well, let me welcome all of you to this very special night for our small and medium-scale enterprises. Without doubt, MSME sector is the backbone of major developed economies across the world. And Nigeria is not different. In Nigeria here, the MSME sector contributes 48% of national GDP and is accounting for 96% of employment and, of course, 84% of businesses. So in spite of the challenges facing all of our business owners, they are gallant soldiers of our nation's economic recovery effort. So tonight, I welcome all of you to a beautiful night, to a night of glitz and glamour. I welcome you all to a night that celebrates excellence. A very young is my name, and I will not be alone. A very delectable lady, Chairman Mera, but you know her as Chew Girl, is also here. And together, we'll drive this event tonight. But let, let me invite her to formally welcome all of us tonight. A man that his friends and family call Mr. MSME. He has worked hard on this. He kicked off last year with the Made in Edition. This year, he's driving it and taking it to the next level. The Special Advisor to the Vice President of MSME Projects, please welcome Tola Johnson. Good evening, Your Excellency, the Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, the Senate President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Governor of Kwara State. Um, permit me to stand on existing protocol. And tonight, I just want to welcome you to the second edition of the National MSME Clinics, tagged the next level. Um, when, we in, when, we, when we launched the inaugural one last year, we had promised that um, we're going to scale up this year. So we are hoping that um, with what, we've, what we have planned for you tonight, we will have met your expectations. So ladies and gentlemen, sit down, relax, and enjoy our next level hospitality. Thank you very much. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. At this time, I'd like to invite Mr. Temun Ikea, who is going to come and give us an introduction about a video we're going to watch. So I ask everyone to please focus your attention on the multimedia screens behind me. Your, your, your Excellency, Vice President, Your Excellency, 
the President of the Senate, Your Excellencies, the Governors of Kwara and Kaduna State, Heads of Parastatas and Special Invited Guests. Last year, we had the maiden edition of the National MSME Clinics. And during that period, we had a total of 300 participants that sent in entries. Out of those participants, 12 of them went away with various prizes in different categories. The MSME of the year, who is also here today, went away with a brand new car and cash rewards. This year, with His Excellency's approval, we have increased the categories to 15. After the awards last year, we had a lot of publicity campaigns around the winners and the nominees to create awareness for their businesses. During this period, nominees and awardees were sponsored to various trade fairs around the world. Some were sponsored to the first Africa trade, African, African trade fair organized by the Afri African Exim Bank in Cairo. This year, some nominees were sent to Bologna, Italy, for one of the biggest fruit and vegetable trade fair in, the, in, in, in Europe. Last, last year, in December last year, His Excellency the Vice President commissioned a shared facility for SMEs, MSMEs in Oyo. This year, in May, he commissioned one in Bauchi State. All the equipment that were fabricated for these shared facilities for granite oil milling, for shear butter processing, and for soap making were fabricated locally by nominees during the awards last year. Your Excellency, Your Excellency, with your kind and gracious approval, permit me to show a small documentary that tells a story of how far and the impact that the awards last year has had on awardees, how it has impacted their businesses and their lives. Thank you very much as we watch. Is my name. I was a participant of the Edmesdemic Clinic that came up in Ondo State last year. It was an opportunity to showcase myself because it was uh, there where my success story started as an empire beneficiary. River State, and my passion is drawing. And I've been doing that right from when I was a kid. So I'm looking forward to to be the best as I'm growing older and older every day. This MSME clinic should keep encouraging the young entrepreneurs so that they can grow and take their business to the next level. These clinics help identify the inadequacies and the challenges encountered by micro small and medium enterprises. My name is Adishino Barafata Dinike. I'm a graduate of civil engineering from Ladu Kakintula University. I'm a paint maker, an indigenous paint maker. I make a building paint, Emotion. This is my brand, Gliss Paint. I started this well after service. There was no work to do and thanks to federal government for actually not scrubbing out NYSE because I got this paint-making idea from NYSC Said, And after that, I had a great passion for it. I love doing it. I love bringing colors to life. Thank you, NSME Clinics. I'm so happy I'm part of this program, seriously, because I've been having issues with SON. Is this one of my standards I need to get from SON? If you go there today, they keep telling you they've sent a message, they've done this, they don't have the standard yet. But today I was able to talk to 
they are superior from Abuja and they made it so easy for me. Something I've been I've actually wanted to do since last year. They made it so easy. They told me, okay, there's a solution. They will fast track this. They will do this for me. And I'm really, really happy I'm part of this program because it has really helped me. But the other way, if I had known something like this would come in, maybe I would have forced my registration because I paid the full money. I was not so lucky enough to get the 50% off. But I still thank God because it's not actually about the money. But I really, really need the certificate because I actually want the stamp to be on my paint, on my brand. Because I actually want to be the best indigenous paint in Nigeria. That's where I'm actually going and also in Africa. My name is Aisha Ali. So they normally call me Alheri Spices by name. I come from Fano State Ongogo local government. This program, I'm okay with it. I'm thankful. So I even participate. Alhamdulillah, I went to the NABDA. They told me the, the, now they have explained everything to me. Before, the product registration is 50, before, it's 55,000. But now I went to their place. They now tell me everything. They have reduced all the money. They have divided it into two. If you want to uh, register spices like Korea now, I can be able to register it with 22,000 naira. So I'll have the like, that one is okay. Issues like access to world class equipment and facilities, capacity building, and inadequate infrastructure have been easily identified and tackled at Strong. Hi. My name is Owan Science Nara. I'm the CEO of Nara Culture Creation. It's a fashion and craft company. We produce bags, shoes, umbrellas, we recycle old car tires. Nara Culture Creation attended the National MSMB Clinic in 2017, where we got the admission of the Vice President the Ankara Umbrella MSMB Clinic. It's actually the bomb. It opens more opportunities to my business. I've traveled to it for a trade fair. I was part of the MSME Awards. And my wonderful industrial sewing machine, they are all from MSME Clinic. There are the numerous policies implemented in Nigeria to foster the advancement of MSMEs. I'm Oli Soji Palavi, CEO and Principal Consultant of Pistalex Ventures Limited. And uh, we are manufacturers of agro-processing equipment that add value to many of our agricultural products. In a way, we got to know a lot of clients that we have presently through that MMP clinic 2018. We made a lot of contacts and even through the award, we were able to be identified, even to now have uh, many of our fabricated equipment for Oyo State Government and uh, Bauchi State Government. My name is Adam Usman. I am the CEO of Yasko Footwear Technology. We are into production of footwear and other allied leather products, such as military and paramilitary shoes, industrial shoes, school shoes, fashion trendy shoes. Being a national SME 2008 awardee, I mean, uh, the award has helped me to gain so many opportunities in and uh, I was invited to uh, international exhibition. The clinics have so far been able to raise awareness and boost the promotion of goods and services produced by MSMEs operating within Nigeria. I'm Jerry Isaac Malou, the leader of Benny Agro. Our company won last year's edition of the MSME Award. Before the SME Awards, Sometimes we spent close to two months without getting any job orders. But from after the SME Awards, we keep getting orders almost on a daily basis. With the prize money, we're able to secure a good office complex, which has given our business a better look. The car that came with the award has made movements much more easier for us. We now able to move from our office to the clients and from clients to the farm places without much issues. With the increase in demands of our machineries, it has pushed us to incorporate designs into the production of our machines. The increase in demand has propelled us from making locally made tractors to making tractors of international standard. It also influence us to manufacture bigger treasures which could serve multiple purposes. The multiple treasure has the capacity of threshing 
different types of crops. In the spirit of innovation and technology, Benny has taken a bold step into manufacturing of automobiles, which has bettered the first model, Benny Puri. Award has increased the credibility of our company. It has exposed us to partnership and patronage from our state government, the Plateau State Government. It has furthermore exposed us to government organizations such as BOI, Ministry of Agriculture, and SMEDAN. With the rapid growth of our company, it has sparked in the minds of many youth the interest of fabrications, which has led us to organize free trainings for the general public. Winning the award has inspired I and my team to do our work better and being more diligent in doing the work. Many thanks to the Office of the Vice President, many thanks to Professor Yemi Usibanjo, many thanks to Mr. Tola Johnson, many thanks to the Governor of Plateau State, All Rights Honorable Simon Bakula Long, many thanks to Director General Plasmeda, Mr. Hagai Guta. I also want to appreciate Mogovu Microfinance Bank for being here for us. I want to say a big thank you to President Muhammad Buhari for what he is doing for SMEs through the Office of the Vice President, Professor Yemi Usibanjo. So, Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, can we put our hands together for all these wonderful business owners across the country? Somebody once said that behind every small business, there could be a little gym, a hair salon, it could be a restaurant anywhere, there is a story. It could be comedy, and the king of them all is in the house here, Alibaba, that has nurtured amazing talents. That teach me how to pronounce it again. Cho girl. Che girl. Che girl. Thank you very much. And so, Your Excellency, this is the moment we'll take a set of awards tonight. And Che girl, Chioma and Meru are more comfortable with that. We'll kick it off. Chama Mera is not my MSME, She Girl is. So we're going to go with that. A wise man once said to me that recognitions are not in themselves the essence of an award. The real essence of an award is the person from whom it is received and for what it is given. And with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, our first set of awards, and the first award is the BOA Award of Excellence in Agriculture. And I'm going to please invite, you will help me put your hands together and welcome the MD of BOA, Alhaji Kabir Mohammed Adamu, to come and present this first award. Can we put our hands together for him? <laughs> and the nominees are... The BOA Award of Excellence in Agriculture. The nominees are Hannah Adenike, Loba Foods from Niger State. The newly innovated fish killer sheet is aimed at saving life and suffering of humanity in some uh, 
uh, disease elements like the gout, malnutrition, and also it will help the military and the police during their security mission in the bush, where they will carry along with them a very good protein, which is fish protein. Olatayo Ife Ulua, Super Limited from Oyo State. At Superfoods, we reduce the post harvest losses of vegetables by uptaking tomatoes, peppers, onions, etc., and transforming them into ready to cook soup products to nourish Nigerians. We have different product lines of ready to cook soup brands. The dehydrated product line has all the nutrients and vitamins of the vegetables locked as we extract the moisture, mixed with blends of spices, fortify, and package for retail all across the country. <laughs> Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Mohamed Galadima Bagudo, Premier of Fish Limited Sokoto, please step forward onto stage. Congratulations to you. Thank you very much. And so before we to let me welcome that a very powerful National Assembly support here. Uh, this very powerful contingent are with the President of the Senate. I'd like to welcome Senator Michael Amanachi, distinguished Senator Haliru D. Jika. Senator Ubasani, let's put our hands together for them. Senator Ayan, Eon, Senator Uche Kunife, Senator Sani Musa, Senator Sahabi Yao. I'd like to also welcome here Senator Dr. Ibrahim Ayo. Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 And of course, Honorable Gideon Goroki, representing the speaker here tonight. Let's appreciate all of them, Your Excellency. Thank you very much. And so the next award is the SON NAVDAC Award of Excellence in Beauty, Wellness, and Cosmetic, presented by Mr. Osita Apoloma. And then Professor Mrs. Moji Adeyeye. SUN and NAFDAQ Award of Excellence in Beauty, Wellness, and Cosmetics. The nominees are Hadiza Larai Mohammed, had more business links from Niger State. My QT baby sets contain antiseptic black soap, which is tender on baby skin. It also contains baby range for rashes, which treats all sorts of rashes. Shea butter oil, which is used as moisturizer and also air oil for baby. And the shea butter balm, which treats colds and cutter. It also has dusting powder, which is used to treat uh, heat rashes. At Awardy Joyce, Kogi Shea Butter from Kogi State. And we are deeply involved in 
collecting nuts from the wild every year from the month of May to July and do the processing, packaging, branding of the same shear nuts into shear butter. Okay, K Perpetual, CYWE Ventures from Lagos State. Sea Ventures into production of Sea Abaringo products made from turmeric, moringa, honey, shea butter, ginger, garlic, aloe vera, castor oil, alba, all blend together to produce a unique skincare product. And the winner, Your Excellency, is the distinguished ladies and gentlemen. Okay, K Perpetual. This way. Okay, K Perpetual, we appreciate you. Thank you very much. And congratulations. Thank you. Up next is the DBN Award of Excellence in Creative Art. And I'd like to invite to present this award, Mr. Tony Opanaje. Please can we put our hands together for him as he comes to present the award. The DBN Award of Excellence in Creative Art. The nominees are Lawal Unua Femi. Femcard Creativity from Cookie State. I grew up knowing the conventional way of making artwork. I discovered it takes a lot of time and uh, limit mass production. Then I came up with the ideas of using computers, um, software, and uh, latest machines to do my work. This makes production fast and perfect. Onwa Soya Nora, Nora Culture from Abia State. Nora Culture Creation is a fashion and crafts company. In the fashion line, we make bags, shoes, jewelry, and cards. And in our crafts line, we have our Ankara umbrella, recycled tires, old shoes, and bags. Ankara umbrella is a very unique umbrella where we want people to feel the touch of their culture in the umbrella. And the winner is? Lawal Olua Femi, can we please put our hands together? This is our winner. Ladies and gentlemen, can we put our hands together for him one more time as he comes? All protocol duly observed. I am so impressed to have this. I and I want to appreciate uh, Vice, Vice President for giving us this privilege. And I want to also appreciate my parents for not discouraging me to go this way. I will have done something else, but 
This is not just an award. It's an empowerment. It's an encouragement to do more. Please keep it up. Thank you very much. Well done, well done. All right, moving right along, right along very swiftly. The next award is the NEPC Award of Excellence in Fashion and Style, presented by Mr. Shegun Awolowo. Can we please put our hands together for him? The NEPC Award of Excellence in Fashion and Style. Store. Today, Unknown has a staff strength of eight, including myself, and we have created income indirectly to strings of more people who are fabric merchants, designers, artists, local career companies, photographers. All our equipment are were bought here in Nigeria. But I, unless you know it, farm apparel from Undo State. Uh, fashion design uh, fashion design is an industry that has been a lot of people in the ancient times, such as trading such as models, 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 models pattern crafts, and enhanced structures and technology. Fam Papara, we are changing the face of African embroidery clothing with the use of monogram embroidery technology. This technology, which is usually being used for branding and customization purposes, are now being used to make a more efficient, faster, and cost-effective African tailor. Joan Adewale, Adbeke Alashoke, from Oyo State. Alashoke is a home girl proudly that has mastered the art of using the handmade home fabric, often referred to Alashoke, producing the spoke fashion pieces and accessories. Right now, we engage local weavers in selling Oyo State and also some in Ilori Kwara State who help us to translate our concept into beautiful designs. The NEPC Award of Excellence. And the winner is Joanne Adewale. Can we put a hand together? much. I'm so elated to receive this award. I want to appreciate the federal government for encouraging entrepreneurs in Nigeria. I want to thank you for all that you do and all that you're doing. This is just the beginning in the entrepreneurial industry of Nigeria and we know that even with this award, it's a form of encouragement for us to do more and be more. Thank you very much. It's a very heavy check. And this next award is the ITF Award of Excellence in Leather Works. And it is going to be presented by Sir Joseph N. Ari. Can we please put our hands together for him as he comes to present the award? The ITF Award of Excellence in Leather Works. Leather Works. The nominees are Fayomi Abiodun. 
City Collection from Ogun State. I'm into shoe making, leather works and uh, uh, accessory. I do I do produce shoes, palm, belt, slippers, a uh, post, a bag, a uh, school sander. You can make with leather. Edmund Berepele, Footlock from River State. Over the years, as a cord winer, I've been able to impart this craft to the youths around my school. So far, I have three of them that are in my establishment as employees. The rest of them are still under probation. One of the ways I've impacted the Nigeria economy is by giving skilled work to the unskilled youths, taking them out of the streets. Oyeni Joel Adiola, food saver from Kaduna. Food is a uh, manufacturing company FMEDAN Award of Excellence in Manufacturing. And the winner is the nominees are Edmund Merepele. Can we put our hands together for him? Edmund, I like your swag. That's a winner swag. Thank you very much, Mr. Excellency. It is in, indeed an awesome experience to stand out as a winner in my category. You know, my perception about success is being at the right place at the right time, doing the right thing. And Mr. Excellency, sir, your government is succeeding. And to my other contestants and the next ones to come, I want you to see Nigeria in a positive level. That way, you eat the good of the land. God bless you all. Thank you very much. And thank you to Chairman for holding forth here. Your Excellency, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, all the award winners, can we appreciate all of them? They are soldiers of our economic recovery program, and they are pushing the frontier, setting up their small businesses and helping to move the nation to the next level. Your Excellency, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, before we have our goodwill message, let me invite an area that is also becoming the very strong area, that's comedy, in the nation's entertainment industry. Forever is there. Please welcome him on stage. Your Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, um, as a comedian, I need to walk around, and this microphone is on one spot, so I might need to carry the mic stand. So please bear with me. Um, we'd like to congratulate all the winners, but something struck my attention. My name is Forever. I'm a comedian, and um, I'm a married man. No, I had to say that because some of you are wondering, who is this small boy? They particularly selected me for this event um, because I'm not big in size. After all, I'm given an award for micro, small, and medium enterprises. <laughs> so I'm the best fit comedian for this event. So, I, um, so there was a speech that said the winner last year won a car, brand new car. And it reminded me of the first award I won. 
Ashley won a Toyota Camry, but it was a key holder. <laughs> it didn't take long. I returned it back to them. I think we need to add one more category to them, which is traffic business. People that sell in traffic. I advise Nigerians, please don't buy gadgets in traffic. My friend bought power bank in traffic, 500 naira. I said, how come? He said, the economy is working. When we got home, as his phone died, as he plugged it, it was his phone that was charging the power bank. <laughs> Two months, the phone did not come on. My neighbor bought sardine, Titus, 400 naira. I asked him, is it 100? He said, no, the four together. I said, so you mean one Titus, 25 naira? He said, yes. Ladies and gentlemen, when we opened the Titus, we didn't see fish. We saw four pomo and red oil inside. This country is wonderful. That's why I advise people not to buy fake things. I went to buy jeans in Lagos, one Igbo boy's shop. He told me that jeans is one five per jean. Went to this guy's shop. The guy's shop was completely blue. I asked him how much for jeans. He said 500. I didn't want to ask him, does the jeans have two legs? He said, yes. I said, why is it so cheap? He said, just open the bill. I said, give me blue jeans because the shop was blue. I bought six blue jeans, five, 500. Ladies and gentlemen, when I got home, I opened the nylon. This guy sold yellow jeans for me. I went back to the shop. I said, okay, why will you sell yellow jeans for me? He said, it does not have yellow jeans. I brought it in the shop. He said, what is this? I said, it's blue. I said, let's go outside and look at it under the sun. He said, I don't sell outside. <laughs> it was the light that changed it. <laughs> you know, we were flying today, and I sat close to the guy that was flying for the first time, and he reminded me of a guy that flew for the first time. He didn't know that you're meant to book your flight ahead of time. He thought it was like all this pack that you come that morning and pay and sit. Whereas me, I booked my flight six weeks ahead, nine two. He came, paid for the only available seat, 40,000. He said he wanted to take breakfast. He went to one of the restaurants at the airport. He asked, what do you have? They said, tea and sandwich. He said, how much? He said, 2,000. He said, I mean tea and sandwich. He said, yes, sir, 2,000. The man said, can you break it down? The guest says, the tea is one, two. The man says, here, bucket. He said, no, sir, no, mama. What is inside? He said, no, my beverage. The man didn't know when he asked, where did you get the water from? Atlantic Ocean, or where? He says, sir, it's from that tap. He said, so, you have ordinary water? He said, yes. He said, how much? He said, it's free. He said, give me two cups. He drank two cups of water. We now boarded. I always say, please, fasten your seatbelt. He said, my brother, where is the seatbelt? I said, it's by your way. He said, thank God, I've disgraced my family. You know, normal precaution announcement, the lady said, we have eight emergency exits, two at the front, four at the center, the man said, hey! I said, why are you shouting? He said, why are they showing us exits? If this plane is on the air and you open the door, can you come out? I said, oh God, calm down, nothing will happen, they just announce in case. So I got remove the case from that statement. If something will happen, tell me now, let me go and enter bus. I said, nothing will happen. He now said, I'm flying because of you. I said, oh God, calm down, you can't fly because of me. We started flying. We now enter turbulence. The plane was shaking. He now asked me, my brother, why is the plane shaking? I didn't know what to tell him, so I lied. I said, another plane overtook us. Eh? <laughs> he said, that means our pilot is slow. I said, yes, the pilot, hurry up. I said, oh, God, don't disgrace your family. The real problem started when he started perceiving jollof rice. He said, is that jollof rice? I said, yes. Will they give us? I said, no. He said, why? I said, because of the economy. He said, who is the rice for? I said, those in business class. He said, where are they? I said, they are the ones in front of the curtain. He said, is that why they closed it? I said, yes. He said, so what will they give us? I said, disposable cup of water, half meat pie and one tom tom. The man said, for my 40,000, I was shocked. And I asked him, you paid 40,000? He said, yes. He said, what about you? I said, nine two. He said, you sit down near me. Got angry, walked straight to business now. So I said, what's your name? He said, my name is Peter. How much did you pay for this seat? He said, 35,000. He said, my friend, stand up. Your seat is at the back. You know, Your Excellency, there's a part of Nigeria I want us to look into, hotels. Our hotels, some of those hotels are not meant to be hotels, they are hotels. I've, as a comedian, we travel a lot and I've had several experiences. I traveled to one hotel, I did an event at Ibadan, April 2nd, I can't forget, 2017. The hotel is on Ring Road, so you know I'm not lying. As we entered the reception, I thought we were at Nepal office. If you see wire... 
I say, is this hotel on the park? He says, hotel. I say, why do you ask them? He says, to connect all the rooms. I say, how much for your room? They said, seven five, but we can give you seven thousand. I said, this one, your pricey hotel room. Are you sure this room is good? He said, that's what we do on Sunday. I now ask the girl, is your intercom working? She said, why am I asking? I said, if I want to place order for food, what will I do? He said, that's the chef. Collect his number. Eh? <laughs> While his phone is off, he said, his phone is always on. He will always charge it. We went to my room. I wanted to put on the air conditioner. I said, don't put it on. I said, why? He said, I use small gen. When we did on big gen, 12 o'clock, I put on television. Volume was loud. I was looking for remote control. I didn't see. I said, my brother, where is my remote control? He says, at the reception. <laughs> what is my remote doing? I said, the full hotel have one remote. And it's the reception. It's what he wants to watch that will watch. As we're talking, they get increased the volume of the, of the TV from downstairs. I said, my brother, how do I reduce the volume? So I got off the TV. I slept in different hotels. I slept in one hotel around 5 a.m. Receptionist came out to everybody's room and was shouting, Everybody come out for morning devotion. Is this your house? <laughs> there are hotels in this country. I know, you, I know all of you sleep in good hotels because you have made it. Me, I'm an upcoming big man. I lodged in one hotel as I put on the AC. It was like water for. I called the reception. I said, Madam, your AC is leaking. He said, I forgot to tell you. That's why you put bucket to fetch water to bath. Eh? <laughs> the one I will never forget. Uyo, two years ago, Hamatan period, crossed my leg on water heater to bake. I didn't know that my water heater was not working well. After four minutes, we just heard one guy shouted from another room, Jesus! We all ran outside. That was when we found out that my water heater was controlling that guy's shower. He had become full barbecue. Somebody that started baking with ordinary water had become full barbecue. Wonderful country. You know, I like to say this. I've been married for a very long time. Don't look at my height. It's not in the height. I've been married for three years now, sir. <laughs> you are laughing at me. If you are not married, you can't laugh at me. Let only those who are married laugh at me. Before I got married, one man lied to me. I'm looking for that man because I want to arrest him. He said, forever, when you marry, be in charge. Don't let your wife control you. Sir, three years now, I'm not in charge. <laughs> the only thing I'm in charge of is my charger. Before I got married, I was an Arsenal fan. So as I speak to you, I support Nickelodeon. <laughs> I can't even touch the remote control, talk about changing channel. How I started watching Z World, I don't know. <laughs> but right now, the one that caused her, they started though. Sometimes you say, well, yeah, watch and tell me the story. My wife will come and tell her, Namaste, Namaste. <laughs> Powerful woman. My wife is from a dose state. Yes, I love those people. Benin City is the only place I have airport, no plane. <laughs> because they don't need it. Everybody flies. <laughs> is it true? <laughs> if I'm from Edo State, forgive me. I'm, I'm recouping my bread price back. <laughs> Things have changed in this country. I schooled in the East, and one of the ladies said that she started her business when she was doing youth service. I stayed in Anambra State, and one of my wonderful experiences was if you're more than 30 years, they say you can't do youth service unless there is special arrangement. But there's one particular boy in my camp, Chibuzo. Once you look at the boy's forehead, you will see his real age, 49. <laughs> I said, my brother, you are older than this camp put together. He said, why are you embarrassed? Him? I saw a guy, you're 49. He said, no, I'm 29. I said, why is your face like this? He said, it's hardship. I saw a guy, this is his nature. Three weeks into camp, the youngest guy in our camp, 20 years old, mistakenly stepped on Chibuzo and did not say sorry. Chibuzo got upset. He said, Agama, will you step on somebody and you won't say sorry? The boy said, Agama, you saw me coming. You did not remove your leg. So I thought your leg was part of the road. Chibuzo said, are you insulting me? Am I your mate? Is it because I'm serving with you here in this camp? As I'm serving here, my son is serving him by yourself. What is your problem? <laughs> <laughs> I said, Chibuzo, I told you. This thing is not hardship. This thing is nature. You cannot deceive me. I can see it from afar. You know, finally, I was talking about hotels. And for the people here who are doing small scale business and you've not really hit the real top, which all of us are looking at, let me give you advice. 
if you go to a very expensive hotel and you see, when you, lo when you get to the room, you now see those beverages on the table, please let me warn you with the love of God in my heart. It is not decoration. It is not free. Don't drink it. You will pay. <laughs> I promise you, you will pay. I lost you to one hotel like that. Saw beverages on the desk. I thought they were part of the room. That is, I drank everything. <laughs> Normally, I wanted to check out the girl and said, Sir, did you use anything on the table? I said, These beverages, I said, Yes, they were very nice. He said, I have to balance her. I said, How much? He said, 10,000. Sir, do you know that triangular Hollandia? The triangular one. And sachet milo. 10,000. I told the girl, Madam, I'm not checking out. I'm just testing your lobby. <laughs> Went back to my room, removed my cloth, washed shirt and polo, put black nylon in my pocket, came out of the hotel, someone had booked you across the hotel. I said, oh God, do you have Orlandia? He said, yes, how much? He said, 50. I said, give me 10. <laughs> you have sachet milo. He said, how much? I said, 25. I said, give me 20. Bought everything, went back to my room, put them back, two, two. I even gave to the hotel one, one extra. Went to the next guest room, I said, my brother, did you drink those things? He said, I said, it's 10,000, take and replace. <laughs> you cannot cheat me in this country. Who do you want to cheat? They should reduce the price of crutch. Please, anybody here have crutch? I want to ask, what do you people really do? Because the money people charge. I want to put my daughter in school. They say seven fifty. I ask, is it undergraduate course? <laughs> I say, what do you offer? I say, play group. I say, my company is big. She can play there. That's how my auntie went to raise her daughter in credit. Now to that two million. She didn't know when she asked her for how many years. <laughs> they say one term. Is how many terms do we have in a year? He said three times. He said she does not talk. He so hold her for me. She won't sleep here. When I close, I'll carry her. He said, yes, ma'am. She's not so from Deccan now from here. Will she go for NYC? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. My name is Forever. God bless you. Thank you, sir. Ali Baba, where are you seated? Where are you? Please rise up where you are. Now just remain standing. You know why I called you up? For what you are doing, young men like this are finding a vocation. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. And so Your Excellency, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, let me quickly welcome here the Managing Director of the Bank of Industry, Mr. Lucario de Peters, to do a short goodwill message. Excellency, the Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Professor Emil Shibaju, SEN GCON, the Senate President, and the distinguished senators that accompanied him, the governors who are here, the governors who are here from Plato, Kwara, and Kaduna states, uh, heads of ministries parasitas and agencies, captains of the industry, members of the press, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. Firstly, I would like to express my profound gratitude to His Excellency, the Vice President of Nigeria, Professor Yemi Oshibajo, SENGCOA, for finding time in his very busy schedule to travel from state to state, actively participate in the, at the MSC ME clinics. We often marvel at the way he personally engages his beneficiaries to understand their plights and discuss with them on possible ways to alleviate the challenges they experience in running their businesses. Your Excellency, sir, without a doubt, we are keen to your vision to improve the quality of life of Nigerian MSMEs as they are the key to the growth of the Nigerian economy. 
I also like to extend my sincere appreciation to the state governors here present. Your efforts and those of your officials continue to promote our work in your various states, thereby contributing to our impact across the country. I am honored to once again welcome you to the second edition of the MSME Awards themed Next Level. This theme is especially relevant because of the positive impact the MSME clinics have had on MSME's state governments and the Nigerian economy at large. This theme is also representative of the next step that BY is taking to drive the growth of MSMEs through our commitment to developing the new MSME clinics and BOI fund, which is poised to boost access to finance for all, all MSMEs, to those who may not have had the opportunity to take part in the clinics. The potential of this fund that it has in reaching and funding MSMEs is nothing short of exciting as we increase the access to finance of businesses across the nation. As we look ahead to the many possibilities of this long-term partnership, it is also necessary to reflect on our starting point as this provided a solid foundation for all that we see here today. Since BOI aligned with the federal government to provide an enabling environment for MSMEs to grow, we threw our weight behind the first ever clinic held in Aba in 2017. And since then, we are pleased to have been involved in all the 23 clinics that have been held to date. BOI also took part in the seven MSMEs one-stop shops, where our staff were available to respond to the inquiries and questions that MSMEs may have. In addition, we have created a nationwide setup of shared facilities by the federal government in its bid to further promote ease of doing business for Nigerian MSMEs. These notable initiatives have provided us with the unique opportunity to truly understand the pain points of MSMEs and adjust our offerings and lending solutions to provide much needed capital that could address their most pressing needs. Along this journey, we have been privileged to meet a diverse group of business owners who are contributing to the growth of the economy, from the lady who makes bags in Aba, Abia State, to the shea butter producer in Niger State, to the fashion designer in Oyo State. We remain immensely grateful for the key insights from the business owners we have across the nation as this has contributed to the improvement of our mandate to promote job creation and elevate poverty, thereby improving the quality of life of all Nigerians. At DOI, we are committed to the growth of the Nigerian economy. In the last three years alone, our lending activities have supported the creation of over 4 million direct and indirect jobs. We have provided loans to about 4,908 SMEs and large enterprises. Through our youth-centric products, we are providing lending to over 700 youths and training support to over 14,000 youths in entrepreneurship and business management modules. We have also partnered with the federal government in the social intervention initiatives to disburse interest-free loans to over 1.5 million micro-entrepreneurs in the former sector under the government JEEP program, and also about 199,000 Empower beneficiaries. Our efforts will not stop here, even as we continue to deepen our activities aimed at increasing the share of our loan book in favor of the MSMEs. We will continue to do this by creating tailored financial and non-financial products to support the business visions of MSMEs to actualization. Finally, to all the MSMEs who are here tonight, I leave you all with these parting words from Jack Walsh, one of the world's most successful business leaders. He once said, and I quote, good business leaders create a vision, articulate the vision, passionately own the vision, and relentlessly drive it to completion. Whether or not you win an award tonight, you have shown that you have all had the DNA of good business leaders, as defined by Jack Welsh. You are therefore winners, and I congratulate you all. DOI will continue to support the growth of your businesses, even as you contribute to the overall growth and development of the Nigerian economy. Thank you, and God bless you all.
ladies and gentlemen. At this time, dinner is served. And while we are having dinner, please enjoy some wonderful entertainment from a man who has definitely been blazing the trail for a very long time. Ladies and gentlemen, help me put your hands together and welcome Two Face Edibia, aka Two Baba.
I know so you talk. What I remember from you, one love, the excellence of the Vice President, maximum respect, all protocols observed. We say we musicians are only two. I be able to make speech. But I like to say this is a blessed event. Support, appreciation, one love. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you to everybody in this building. We not too much, man. Thank you for supporting Nigerian music. Ah, that's what I want to see. Thank you for supporting Nigerian music, man. That the carriers go far. I will go to be now proud, not shaky. So one love, sit back, relax, enjoy yourself. to all the ladies in the house today. Well, not too much. It's not a small thing. Well, yeah, David, give me that guitar and I'm going to sing out more for them. All the ladies! I love you. I love you. I love you. Just like the sun, lights up the 
So please come up too. I'm sorry I didn't introduce myself. I'm Nachi Clara from FIRS, representing FIRS on the committee. I'm Veronica Nkechi, is a representing um, NAVDAC in the committee. Thank you. Representing the Bank of Agriculture, BOA, my name is Wael James. Thank you. Please, we'll do the laptops first. One, two, three, four, and five first. For those who have won themselves a retired card, please write your phone number on the card given out, on the little paper given to you. Thank you. All right. Thank you, everybody, for indulging us. And for those of you who didn't win anything, we are inviting you to come back next year, hoping that you win something. Thank you. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to especially welcome the governors that are here, Your Excellencies, the governors of Kaduna, the governor of Plato, the governor of Kwara State, and the deputy governor of Abia State that are here tonight. Let me welcome all of Your Excellencies very respectfully. So Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I would like to for our special recognition tonight, I'd like to welcome on stage the man that has been described as a king of comedy, not just in Nigeria but on the continent. A young man just entertained us a few minutes ago. Those are some of his disciples across the nation. Please welcome on stage Alibaba. Well, Your Excellencies, you all know him as Ali Baba, but I'm very sure if I had given him the microphone to introduce himself, and he says, I'm Atuyota, Alleluia, Akobome, you will be wondering who are you. Ali Baba was born in Worried Delta State. Nigeria, June 24, 1965, to the royal family 
of Agbaha Otto. He is the first son of several children, and he is very deliberate in not mentioning the number of children. And spent his first eight years in worry. His father is a retired soldier who served in Lagos. He attended Ojo Primary School and Command Secondary School in Lagos. He further his education at Hebrew College in Aguaralto and Bender State University at Poma, where he focused on religious studies and philosophy. After com completing his academic career in 1990, he relocated back to Lagos to develop his comedic talent he discovered at the university. Originally, he planned to study law but decided he could be more successful by making people laugh than by defending them. He began his professional career performing at corporate events, appearing on television shows with Patrick Doyle, Charlie Boy, and Dan Ladibako, and making cameo appearances on radio shows with B.C. Olati, Los Sonny Rabo, and Money on Mono. He also worked with Dakwadi Legon of BP Lekki Limited as executive assistant in 1991. That's a recognition of the king of comedy. With little precedent in Nigeria for stand-up comedians, Alibaba persevered to professionalize his skills and carve a niche as an innovator and comedian for corporate and non-corporate events by serving as master of ceremony at many events. In 1993, he registered his company to enhance the perception of comedians as a profession and a respected way of life. As part of his work in 1998, he had billboards on strategic legal streets with a message that became known as being funny is serious business. Alibaba maintained the philosophy that his business is big enough for all who want to make comedy their chosen profession. As such, He supports, mentors, and presents several comedians helping to ensure that standards are maintained and professionalism encouraged. Alibaba has been in professional stand-up comedy for the past 30 years. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, this man has won awards across the world. He has been featured on CNN. Tonight, I present to you Ali Baba the king of comedy. Also to be honored tonight, let me welcome the lady behind the hands of Tara, and her citation will be read by Dr. Jumoke Oduwale. Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Tara Peladro Toe is a beauty entrepreneur who pioneered the professional makeup industry in Nigeria in the late 1990s. She is the founder and current CEO of House of Tara International. She is considered a major force in the Nigerian female entrepreneurship community, having created an impact business that has empowered tens of thousands of beauty entrepreneurs through the Tara Beauty Entrepreneur Initiative. She continues to be a thought leader and a major influencer through several in-classroom and online courses that focus on sharing her 20 plus year experience with other building, budding entrepreneurs. As a game changer in Nigerian business, Tara has served as a powerful role model for business women and worked as an advocate for creating awareness of the importance of building businesses that positively impact society. 
She's a huge advocate of impact entrepreneurship and is considered the poster girl for female entrepreneurship in West Africa. Under her leadership, House of Tara emerged one of Jobberman's best 100 companies to work for in Nigeria in 2017 and continues to be considered the number one indigenous makeup brand for Nigerian women. She has received several national and international awards for her contribution to the industry and active role in entrepreneurship and empowerment, the most recent being the most outstanding businesswoman of the year 2018 at the African Economy Builders Award, Abidjan. Also in 2018, Tara received the African Makeup Icon by Ghana Makeup Awards, as well as the Leadership Award for Entrepreneurship by Harvard Business School Association of Nigeria. She is an alumnus of the Lagos Business School Chief Executive Program, NCIAD Abu Dhabi, Yale University, the Stanford C Transformation Program, and the Harvard Kennedy School, having completed the global leadership and pu public policy in the 21st century. She is a member of the France Nigeria Investment Club, which was incorporated in 2018 by the French President Emmanuel Macron. She serves on several boards, which includes Bridge International Academies and So Fresh Neighborhood. She's also an associate member of WIMBIS. She was recognized by the World Economic Forum as a world global leader in 2013, Forbes list of 20 young powerful women in Africa, again in 2013, Chersel Institute of France top 100 young African business leaders under 40 in 2014, Tara enjoys gardening and loves experiencing new cultures and meeting new people. She's happily married to Feladro Toe and is blessed with three boys. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my privilege and honor to present to you my friend and my sister, Tara Feladro Toe. These two amazing Nigerians are very iconic. Tara, number one in her area. I live about in 2012, rang the bell in the Stock Exchange in Nigeria, the first entertainer to so do. It's therefore my honor and pleasure to welcome His Excellency, the Vice President, to honor these two iconic Nigerians. And the Senate President, please, can you join us here? I welcome you, Your Excellency, please. So that what we are doing here will have the backing of Parliament. Let's appreciate him as he steps forward here. Ambassador Yemi Dikwelu will also want you on stage here, please. Thank you very much. Your Excellency the Vice President, Your Excellency the Senate President, we appreciate you. Thank you very much. And so we'd like to invite them one minute apiece. Let me welcome Tara first. I'm very sure I'll invite the gentleman to allow the lady to go first. Your Excellency the Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Your Excellency the Senate President, Your Excellency's governors here present, heads of government, parasitals, and agencies, 
and all the nominees and winners, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. I would like to thank Nigeria and Nigerian women for supporting our industry as makeup artists. I would like to thank all our Tara Beauty entrepreneurs across the country who started their small businesses believing that it was possible to grow, to become an industry that is reputable. I'd like to thank all the employees of House of Tara in all the states across Nigeria and say well done for impacting our generation. Thank you very much. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, uh, on behalf of all the comedians in Nigeria, on behalf of the people who set the path for us, John Chuku, Bisiola Tilo, Babasala, Ikena Ndagoba, and all of them who have uh, also passed on, we thank all of them for this. But this also goes to all the comedians and all the event planners that use us. But above all, it is to say that the industry that we're in can earn a lot more. Because if you check, the highest earning entertainers in the world, the Jerry Seinfeld, Kevin Hart, these are billionaires and they're just comedians. But it's not just for them, it is for the people that we employ, the people that we help to achieve their businesses, the allied businesses that our business employ. We thank you all for the support. And Your Excellency, thank you so much. Thank you so much. God bless Nigeria. Thank you. Congratulations to you, Tara and Alibaba. We appreciate you. Thank you. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, we'll quickly go back to the awards. And the next category of award is Median Award of Excellence in Manufacturing. And this award will be presented by Dr. Diko Rada, DG Smidan. I'm sure those are only Smid and staff. Can the whole house put a hands together for the DG of Smid and please? Thank you very much. Thank you. And so we, please, these are the nominees. And so the winner in this category is Hawa Huru Al Kashim. That's the Sweden Award of Excellence in Manufacturing. And Hawa here elegantly stepping out to win the award from the Director General of Sweden. Congratulations to you.
And so how I can step to the microphone now. I'm so excited, excited beyond words. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much, sir. God bless for the Republic of Nigeria. Thank you so much, sir. In the little world she has shown appreciation, let's appreciate her to step down with a round of applause, please. Thank you very much. The next set of awards is NIDA Award of Excellence in Technology Innovation. The representative of the acting DG, Professor Suleiman Muhammad, will be presenting the award. ITDA Award of Excellence in Technology Innovation. The nominees are Barry Ezekiel. Hydro Tisitan from Plateau State. Zankbot Luca, Zankbot Technologies, Plateau State. This is a computer food mouse. This computer food mouse is used to control the computer using the food. As you can see, I'm controlling the computer with my food without using the hand. And so tonight in that area, Zank Bot Luca is the winner. These are the people who are moving the technology industry forward. Our society now in the 21st century is gigabyte infested, and these are the movers and shakers of the sector. Congratulations to you, Zhang. We welcome you. We appreciate you. Thank you. The economy of the future is one that is driven by technology, and we are happy that men like you are moving the frontiers. Congratulations to you, Zhang. Your Excellency, the Vice President, Federal Republic of Nigeria, I appreciate you for this prestigious award. To whom much is given, much is expected. With this award, I will continue more in research and in my inventions to see that Nigeria becomes one of the best manufacturing countries in the world. And the governor of Plateau State is here. I also appreciate him for supporting the MSME in Plateau State. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, Zhang. The next award is the Raw Materials Research and Development uh, Award on, of Excellence in Woodworks, presented by the Permanent Secretary, Minister of Industry, Trade and Investment, Mr. Sunday Edit Akwan. A word of excellence in woodworks. The nominees are. RG Colino, RG Colino Enterprise from River State. Specialized on furniture and woodwork, home and office furniture, such as sitting room chairs, bed and bedroom cabinets, kitchen cabinets, 
wardrobes, royal seats, seats for traditional rulers, molding. We don't just walk, we also train personnel. Mafeng Johanna, Mafeng Woodcraft from Plateau State. In Mafeng Woodcraft, we do home furniture, office furniture, school furniture, hall furniture. my business on honesty. And the winner here, OG Colino. OG can step it up. You are a digital man. See the theater. I welcome you and congratulate you, Ajay. Well done. Well done. Good evening, everyone. I want to sincerely thank God Almighty who has made this day to come. And a big thanks to the Vice President of this great nation, Professor Yemi Osi Banjo, who is a friend to the entrepreneurs and who has not forgotten us in our low level, have decided to bring us to this next level, to exist in this exalted platform. That God will keep you for Nigeria. God bless you, sir. And to all the government agencies that are putting time and resources in making this occasion a success. Thank you all. I love you all. God bless you. We love you too for the beautiful woodwork you are doing. We love you too. Now for the MSME Partner Clinic Partners Award. Chioma is here. I'd like to welcome you to the microphone. This award is the Federal Government Award of Excellence for Outstanding MSME Clinic Partners presented Okay, we have three, three awards back to back. It's not for me. It's just dressed back here. Yeah. I wish. Um, So for this award, I would like to invite the choir state governor to please come at this time. There are three awards to be given out right now. So can we please put our hands together for him, ladies and gentlemen, as we invite him to come up and present the next three awards. We have the first one is Smidan Award, FRSC, and Access Bank. And so we'd like the um, representatives of these organizations, Federal Inland Revenue Service, Access Bank, and Smidan. The Director General is here already to please step forward and collect these awards. Access Bank has been a very worthy private sector partner in this enterprise. Access Bank, 
FRSC and SMEDA. The next three awards are CAC, SON, and DBN. And I would like to invite the Kaduna State Governor to please come up and help us present these awards. Can we please put our hands together for him, ladies and gentlemen? Like representatives from many of these three. Can we please have the heads of the parastatos from CAC, DBN, and SON to come and receive the awards? Ladies and gentlemen, please bear with us. We'll soon be out of your hair, but we need to do what we need to do. We will soon be out of your hair. So the next set of awards The next three awards are for the Bank of Industry BOI, ITF, and Nexum. And to present these awards, ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome, put your hands together and welcome the Plateau State Governor, who's going to come and give us, help us present these awards. Can we please put our hands together? I to invite His Excellency to come and help us present these awards. We need representatives from ITF, BOI. and Nexum Bank.
Thank you, Reverend T. Can we please give him a round of applause as he goes back to his seat? And the next set of awards. Plenty awards, plenty. The next set of awards for NEPC, NITDA, RMRDL, and NAFDAC. And I'd like to invite the Deputy Governor of Nasarawa State to please come and help us present these next five awards. So we won't burden the Deputy Governor of Nasarawa State with all of them. We'll have him present three of the five awards. So we need representatives from the Export Promotion Council, NIDDA, Raw Materials, and NAVDAC. Ladies and gentlemen, we would now like to invite the Deputy Governor of Abia State to please come as we invite him to help us present these next set of awards. NITDA and BOA, Bank of Agriculture. Thank you very much, Your Excellency, the Deputy Governor of Abia State. We appreciate you. Thank you. Up next is the next outstanding MSME clinic participant, male, presented by the MD Nexum Bank, Mr. Abba Bello. So can we please put our hands together as we invite him to come and present this next award? I have been asked to let you know that this very award also attracts a four-wheel vehicle.
Ladies and gentlemen, the winner is Aminu Uba Miko. Please go put your hands together for him. He has won a car. A car. What kind of car is it? Hyundai Accent 2019 chassis vehicle. Market has been selling. Hello. Yes. Wow. He's coming. He's coming. He has to walk. Acts Hyundai walk. It's okay. Sir, smile, sir. You just want a car. Smile a bit. All right. That's the license plate of the car. And the keys of the car. And the check that will write back in the car with the car. We're going to give him one minute to say something. Excuse his look, he's just shocked. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, His Excellency, the Vice President, and the Governor of Kaduna State, and the rest of the governors, good evening, thank you. I want to appreciate and thanks, especially to the Vice President, Yemiya Subajo. I can remember the time that he, uh, he met us in Kano. He's highly appreciated the way that we can combat 400 watt of uh, uh, solar uh, street light to only 30 watt so you can even see so we are going to continuously researching and development especially on the critical areas that we have in this country we knew we have the problem of energy that is why we focus our research on energy so we can make things more energy saving and some other things. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you. He said I can hold the key of the car later. Just to, just to hold it. Next up we have <laughs> The BOI Outstanding MSME Clinic Participant Female, and we're going to have the MD of BOI, Mr. Olukayode Piton, to please come and help us present this next award. Can we put our hands together for him as he comes? And we're going to show the nominees on the screen. Female. The nominees are Additional Barakat Adenike, Abed Paint Industry from all your states. Uh, I heard about MSME clinics like this time last year. We were there at, Oyo, at UI in Ibadan. I was there, I participated. And luckily for me, I met the vice president. He was so amazed that a female is actually doing something like this. He actually reached out to me that, okay, let me help you advertise. He brought out my product, snapped with me. I got recognized, came to my factory, did a lot of video. I was so happy. Onwa Sonia Nora, Nora Culture, from Abia State. MSME Clinic hmm, is a story that I'll continue selling for the rest of my life. It's been an awesome experience. In 2017, uh, MSME Clinic came, came to Abia State and I was invited to come for that clinic and I brought some of my products with me. One of the products I actually brought was my, that was the year I started my Ankara umbrella and I evicted it. And when the vice president came to my stand, he was surprised because for a young girl to be making umbrellas, and I'm grateful to God 
that I have this opportunity. And I know if I should win this award, it will go a long way to help the young girls that I'm empowering. At Awardy Joyce, Kogi Shea Bottom from Kogi State. As a cooperative society, we are deeply involved in shea butter production. And this we carry out every year. And during last year, MSME clinic, when the vice president came visiting, he came to our pavilion, that is at the state stadium, zone eight. And he was actually impressed. Even the governor of the state also introduced us to him as a very hardworking cooperative. And the winner is... Awasaya Nora. Can we put our hands together for her? This award also comes with the Hyundai Accent 2019. Her tears were not in vain. Please put your hands together for her. Wow. Wow. My dear cry, it's okay. It's okay to cry. It's tears of Hyundai. Why was I not part of this category? I don't know. Chai, come, just come. What? Don't worry, don't worry. As you drive, just wipe your tears with your with the AC of your new car on it. It's like she got an Oscar. I just want to thank God for my tears. I cried one day beside the car, not knowing I would drive away with one. Nora does not know what to do with herself. Yeah, you're good to talk. It's okay. Come and give your speech. Here, your check for you. I hold it for you. Oh. I don't know where to start. At the beginning. <laughs> she has left. <laughs> the story of my life as an entrepreneur. It has not been easy. I started as a medical student, dropped out of medicine because of my business. For one year, my family, nobody was talking to me because it sounded foolish. But not until MSME clinic came and I got the opportunity. I wish my dad is here to see that. President. So I don't know where my business would have been if not for the MSME clinic, Mr. Tola, the MSME crew, everybody who have been so awesome. And this award, the car is not for me. It's for the girls that I'm empowering because we want young girls to go into entrepreneurship. So I don't need to do much preaching again. I don't need to preach more when I go to their secondary schools. When I drive this car and say, this is a result of my hard work. They will listen to me. Thank you, sir, for this opportunity. I'm very, very grateful. Thank you. Chai. 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 It's okay. Nora, it's all right. We went to medical school. I started to be a teacher, but I'm here doing this. It's okay. My father will be proud, too, hopefully. Um, at this time, ladies and gentlemen, we have a special award very quickly, so I'm going to invite the MWI to come and help us present very quickly this award to someone very special. Thank you very much. The Bank of Industries Government Enterprise and Empowerment Program, GEEP, 
recently received top honors at the annual African Banker Awards under the financial inclusion category. The award was presented in June 2019 in Malabo, Equatorial Guinea, on the sidelines of the African Development Bank annual meetings. This level of recognition is a nod to the exceptional leadership of the Office of the Vice President, which ensured that Bank of Industry was empowered to deliver the successful implementation of the JIP program. As we know, JIP is the world's largest technology-driven microcredit scheme providing loans of between 10,000 Naira and 300,000 Naira to traders, artisans, enterprising youths, and agri workers. The program, which commenced in 2016, also recently received the commendation of the United Nations and has empowered 1.8 million microenterprises with interest-free loans to grow their businesses making it the largest public microcredit program globally. The vast majority of these microenterprises are in over 1,600 clusters and markets across all 36 states of Nigeria and the FCT. By the sheer scope and scale of this project and its impact, JIP is not only unprecedented in the world, but also a case study that can be scaled up globally, delivering many people in commercial activities out of poverty. This award from the African bankers is hereby rightfully presented to His Excellency, the Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Professor Yemi Oshibajo, SAN, GCON, for pioneering this landmark innovation. May we now please invite His Excellency to come and receive the award. Excellency is asking those who are involved with Jeep who are here to come to the stage. Mr. Adeniji, Tony Adeniji of BOI, other senior people who are involved with the Jeep program. Buzoma. Please sit down. Please kindly sit down. No, 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 no. We'll just have some quick photo ops with His Excellency. So we have two more awards. This next award is the Access Bank MSME of the Year Award. 
presented by the MD of Access Bank, Mr. Herbert Wigwe. Can we please put our hands together? He's and he's MD representing the MD. I have just been told that this award also a Hyundai Jeep. Okay. She gave us the award. Mm. And the nominees are The Access Bank MSME of the Year Award. The nominees. Organizing a two days exhibition at the International Conference Center. Fully paid stores that were branded all by the office of the vice president. I was so blown away. Day two, the vice president showed up. Guess what? He made a customized pillow for him that had one of his favorite Bible verses. This, they hope their trust in God will not be put to shame. And I also made him a bow tie, green, white, green, all with Asha Oke. Edmond Berikbele, Footlock from River State. I'm into cold whining. I'm a certified cold whiner. And you know, ever since these years passed, I knew that Nigeria is working because I'm a life witness. Coming to Abuja in the very first time, and I was being invited for this MSME award. I'm blown away honestly because this is what it is that the government in Nigeria is working. Olatayo Ifeolua, Super Limited from Oyo State. I got involved with the MSME clinic in the year 2018 and it was really intriguing. Intriguing because yes, I was just there to showcase my product, but the vice president and the then governor of Oyo State came to my stand and they were impressed with what I was doing as a Nigerian youth. Being creative with what I'm doing and making sure I'm making an impact and solving a particular problem. Particular problem. The Access Bank MSME. And the award goes to, along with a Hyundai Kretsa Jeep vehicle, hmm. the winner is Olatayo Ifeolua. She came with a support She had a support at club. Very good. Wow. That's it, girl. Walk like you just want a car. That's it. Can we give another round of applause, ladies and gentlemen? Ladies and gentlemen, we'll give her one minute to just have a few words. I'm, I'm very much honored to be the MSME of the year 2019 and I am here today representing millions of Nigerian youth entrepreneurs that are hardworking, innovating 
making sure that they are pushing in the faces of challenges to see their dreams come true. I am short of words and I want to say a big thank you to the Federal Government of Nigeria, to the Office of the Vice President for this platform to, that rewards entrepreneurs and it, this means so much to the entrepreneurial ecosystem in Nigeria and we cannot thank you enough. I am also saying a big thank you to all of my team members, from the management team members to the supporting staff. We all made this happen. To my everly supporting parents and my siblings, I say a big thank you. To a lot of other organizations, GAIN, SBN, Faith Foundation, PLAN, I say a big thank you. My progress is a testimony to the fact that you're also contributing to impacts in Nigeria. Thank you so much, Professor Yemi Osimbaju, for this. I am everly grateful. Thank you. When you come empty handed, what you're leaving with plenty load. Wow. And ladies and gentlemen, this is the last award for tonight. And um, right after this award, we're going to have all the recipients of all the awards to just come quickly on this side. So we're going to have a quick photo opportunities with His Excellency the Vice President right after this award. So you, if you want any award tonight, please make your way to my left, your right side of the stage. And right after this award, we're going to do some pictures. So at this time, this last award is the FIRS Award for the most supportive MSME state of the year. Presented by His Excellency, the Vice President, Professor Yemi Osimbajo. Can we put a hand together for him once again as he comes to present this award? Most supportive MSME state of the year. For most supportive MSME state of the year. The nominees are Kaduna, Lagos, Anambra, Abia. You may be seated, ladies and gentlemen. You may be seated. And the award goes to Anambra State. Put your hands together for Anambra State. SMEs constitute over 60% of the economy of Anambra State. The major challenge faced by small and medium enterprises, SMEs, in Nigeria. We've just been watching the second national MSC, MSME Awards 2019 from the nation's capital of, of Abuja. Uh, stay with us on channels, television. Of course, we've been covering this live event. But at the top of the hour, it will be time for our flagship, the news at 10. Please stay with us. You've been watching a live Channels Television event.